So many of you guys have requested that I actually uh, did take a look at the EW streams and what is to come with Emerald Coast. And uh, quite honestly, my love for Call of the Wild lately hasn't been very, very high. I've been enjoying playing the game, but I haven't been super excited about things. That might actually change with this map. I am for once actually quite positive about this and I in my mind had gotten to a place where I'm not really sure what to think of this but uh, let's take a look at some of the new things and new animals that is to come with Emerald Coast coming out the 20th and please if I do say something that is not true just leave it in the comments down below I haven't watched all of the live streams that they put out I have watched Flinter's Banting review and uh, just overall just skim through the highlights of um, the live streams and and so far what I've seen, the map itself does have a very, almost like, you know, parquet feel to it, with a mix of the Australia that um, we are going to. And uh, obviously they do have some of the assets from uh, Generation Zero, I still see the Swedish cars, but we'll uh, let that one slide for now. Overall, we're also getting a new gun, a 22 to 50, which is gonna be, um, well, good for some people, I guess. I um, don't think it's gonna change much for my loadouts, but in general, the stars of this show is simply what they've done with the animals there is a quite a few interesting species on the map and then the fellow the great ones obviously as well is making an introduction and um Felodia has always been a very exciting animal for me to hunt. It's been very hard to hunt in the first two, three, four years of the game before Tavaroa came around because they were only on Hirschfelden and Hirschfelden is a hard map to hunt. But with them being on so many other maps now as well, they are surely going to be something that we're going to be taking down easily. And uh, we're going to see a lot of great ones coming out. And I'm actually excited. There are some things that is a little off with them, but overall, it's just nice to have them. And with the moose in the first place, I was very hesitant with all the, like, all kind of mythical racks and such they got going on with them. I've grown to accept them. I don't like the spider rack, but the other ones are okay. The double padded one, eh, I don't see it too often, but I have the really big rack myself and I'm very, very happy with that one. That And even have it in the uh, common fur variation because that is cool now when you can't get that anymore. A thing that really also needs to be pinpointed is how insanely good the furs has actually started to look in this game as well. Beard is talking about it right here as well in the live stream with how much much more detail has gotten into it since the beginning of the game. Um, these Samba, the Rusa, and the uh, Hawk Deer, I think it's called, that we're all going to be taking a look on here while he's displaying them for us. At first, my really big fear with Australia, with them not including the water buffalo, is that we're going to be missing an animal that is has that wow factor whenever you come around the corner and all of a sudden you see, see massive horns in the bush or something like that. But the, I don't actually feel that's needed, and that might partially be because Jaxi kind of spawned in a massive looking deer of uh, one of the new species, and I was like, okay, well, this isn't too bad. This is a lot bigger than I expected it to be, but I would have loved to see the water buffalo. Obviously, we're still gonna have the red deer, which by all always look majestic as hell on the map, but you know, we have red tears on so many maps, so I was more... Do we need something else to also be? I don't think we do. I have been turned around in my belief that this is gonna be fine with just having the deer and the banting. And then, god dang, when we uh, actually got to take a look at the saltwater crocodile as well. There is still the issue that the saltwater crocodile is gonna be... It's, it's gonna be a weird one to hunt, because as long as we don't have true size to the body, it's all gonna be the same. It doesn't matter if you shoot a level 5 or if you shoot a level 9. They're all gonna look the same in the lodge, it's only the metal who's gonna be different. Whenever they get that introduced and we get to the point where they actually have different sizes to the body and lengths and such of them, my oh my, that is going to be a game changer. And I think it's going to be the same for the kangaroo, which I actually haven't seen, but I know, um, I think one of the creators are putting out a uh, in-depth look of the tomorrow. Um, he didn't want to say who it is, but uh, I guess most of you will have a very qualified guess who will be coming with that one. We have had Scarecrow and Flinter too, the two other ones from the map so far, which I really like that idea. I still think the creator 
week with ha them having a week's access to create all the videos that they want and all that and then can release it probably friday or uh, thursday maybe is a little too long and will end up doing <sighs> almost killing the hype more than it's hyping up if they were just to have like a weekend where they could do the videos yeah maybe give the youtubers a day more it's fine but this way they are gonna have played the map till uh, like there is nothing left on the map basically to to see there will be the great ones i guess but we if we don't see a diamond of each of the species from the creators that is in the beta it's yeah, yeah you know is it because i'm not in it that i'm salty i wouldn't say I, I don't know well it's for you to judge i wouldn't have time to play it as it is right now anyway so it is what it is you know diablo 4 is this thing <laughs> And this is the hawk deer. I didn't know anything about them. They do look uh, kind of like Sika ish, but uh, has almost the same coloration as some of the fallow deers and such. Which also, the uh, new touched fallow deers look really nice. We also did get a quick look at the Banting. Banting, I think it's going to be fun to hunt, but it's still it's hard to see them being very impressive in terms of their horns, but body size, they look really good. I am really looking forward to how many aggressive animals we're gonna have on the map though. Like, it's one of the things that had made me love Medved even more, simply now I will get eaten by wolves once in a while. Here, I even have the chance to get eaten by a crocodile. And um, I, the way that that charged him and almost got him, I mean, he was a little lucky with the shot, but still, I would love to see this, especially if they're actually gonna be coming out of the water as well and just be like, yeet, if they are hiding them. There. Imagine them being submerged and all of a sudden just launching an attack on you rather than them resting somewhere. I didn't see exactly, I think he did spot it or hear it earlier, but dang, that one looked cool. But overall, the model is very stunning. I, I'm very impressed with how good they have actually managed to make the animals look in the game now. It is a massive upgrade to what we have had previously. And I really do believe, especially with the map itself and having so many interesting new species to hunt, I think we are looking at a really big release and probably a, what is going to end up to be a fan favorite map in, at least in terms of what i've seen so far at least there is no doubt that we are looking at a map that is going to succeed big time compared to the uh, let's just be honest and call it a cash grab as i still think it was with new england mountains being just a complete replica of almost nest pierce valley and you know yeah with the copy paste animals it's very nice to see something this new or filled with so many new things and so refreshing and I do believe with the introduction of the fallow deer as well, there is going to be tons of people grinding for those as well now. And I have seen a lot of different opinions about them. The only thing that I have really got going on here, because I've, I've grown to love those oversized crazy rags that are a thing these days in the game. But it does, to me, almost feel like I'm looking at a red deer body with the fallow deer handlers on but overall the uh, the first impression i have watching this live stream with uh, where jaxi is showing off all the different fur variations and uh, rag sizes or rag shapes i guess we can call them there is a ton of variety and there is gonna be with we have the fellow huddle already can you imagine how many people are gonna be out there grinding like they did with the white tails to actually get a fellow deer huddle just with great ones i'm not gonna say that i'm gonna committing to doing it but i will say that i would like one down the line because there is some really interesting ones the fur variations of these guys and just the touch up on the fellow deer in general is just awesome and I really do hope that I do come across as quite positive minded about this update because I really do believe that this is going to be a massive success. And as over the top some of these rags are for the fellow deer, 100% they are going to be interesting to find. And there is going to be so many people grinding so hard to get them. Most of us probably will maybe get one if we're lucky down the line, but... I don't know. It's just something nice to have to work towards. Also, the uh, screen has been updated. The one where you have all the info when you shoot an animal. That is kind of nice. It looks a lot cleaner, a lot, uh, very much neater. And um, I'm a big fan of that kind of touch-ups as well. So yeah, I 
am personally excited for Emerald Coast. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you so very much for watching.